This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I love being here helping you with playing the guitar. In this Guitar 101 mini course, it's all about Christmas music. I love Christmas. One of the things that helps make it magical for me is playing and singing and listening to Christmas music. So, I wanted to do a course where we get to do some Christmas songs. So, I heard the bells on Christmas Day is what this episode is about. Each of the episodes, there's 30 different uh, videos in this mini course series. Each one of those videos goes over a different Christmas song. If you haven't done so yet, you'll want to download Load the sheet music. There's a PDF uh, link for a PDF copy of that in the description below. So you want to grab that so you can play right along with me and play it on your own. As I do in all these, I'll start out with playing the melody. So we'll work on playing the melody. Then we'll work on strumming the chords. Then we'll work on finger picking the chords. And so we can learn some accompanying ways with those chords to accompany ourselves singing or somebody else singing or somebody else playing the melody. So we'll jump in with playing that melody. These melodies are written out with simplified rhythms sometimes so you can make it a little more complex or change it up a little bit if you want to add a little syncopation but with the lyrics in there it's always easy to keep those a little bit simpler the melody is written out in the tablature and it's also written out in standard music notation so you can read it in either either place it's done the same way now if you don't know how to read tablature or standard music notation then you want to check out my quick answer video that can get you started on how to do that there's a quick answer video get you started on tablature. There's also one that could get you started on note reading. And there's also method books. I have method books that go through tablature. There's a couple hundred songs at varying levels. It gets harder. There's videos that come with those so you can have help learning to play single lines, especially with the tablature. There's also books in the method book series, my method book series, that go through reading notes. And so you could check those out. Uh, three different books there that take you through all the different processes. Um, learning here in first position, then all over the next. So if you want to know how to do that and get good at doing that, you should check out those books. They also come with hours of in-depth video lessons that can help you. You can play right along with me. I'm going to go ahead now, though, and assume that you have figured out or know how to do one or the other or both of reading this notation and we'll play the melody. A lot of my students that come to me in person love to sing the melody while they're playing it and that's a great thing to do. If you're reading tablature especially it can help you play that tablature better as you're singing what you're familiar with and vice versa as you're learning a melody it can help you learn to sing that melody better so you can accompany yourself singing. So I'm going to sing along here. We're coming in on beat four in the pickup measure. I'll give us a three beat count in. You got one, two, three. I heard the bells on Christmas Day. that. We'll go ahead now and play the chords. I'm going to strum the chords. I'm going to use the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. Got it written up here on the board. If you want help with reading rhythmic notation or strumming patterns, there's quick answer videos in the series that can help you with that, or I should say in this online academy. But we've got one, two, and, and four, and. That's the rhythm. One, two, and, and four, and. And then we've got strumming directions written above. The little three side sided rectangle means down strum and then the V up strum. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. This is likely a familiar strumming pattern. It's one that I like to call the universal strumming pattern. Works in so many different styles so well. So we've got that here. We're going to have F. We insert that one time per measure. So we'll have one measure of F. Seven, measure of F, measure of C, measure of B flat, and then we get to 
these measures where we have two chords per bar. With those, you can just use the first half, A, for each of those chords, D minor. So down. If any of these chords are unfamiliar to you, there's quick answer videos that go over all the different types of chords that we play on the guitar, and there are videos that help with each of these voicings specifically, so you can look for the quick answer help on that. I'm going to go ahead and play this using this strumming pattern, inserting it once per bar just like I just demonstrated. I'm just going to do the first verse, and so you've got all five verses there, so at home on your own you can do all those great verses but to keep these videos a little shorter I'm just gonna do that first verse I heard so you're gonna have one two three I heard the bells on Christmas Day their old familiar carols play and wild and sweet the words repeat of peace that goes with strumming with the finger picking and this one's a little trickier to do finger picking on uh, with the B flat chord and these bar chords that one that one's especially makes it a little bit trickier I choose these keys sort of this song that sit in an okay range maybe and also have okay chords you could take every single one of these chords up so from F you could do G instead C7 D7 uh, B flat would be up to C so everything is one what we call whole step higher A would be up to B though and so you're still gonna have a bar chord um, in there so we kind of kind of stuck with the bar chords on this finger picking is always a little bit more challenging with bar chords but we'll be okay I'm gonna go over it anyway a great pattern that works for this one is P I M I A I M I now if you're not familiar with finger picking you want to check out my quick answer video that can get you started on how we do finger picking but we've got letters that represent each of the plucking hand fingers P for thumb, I for index, M for middle, and A for ring. Pinky just moves with that ring finger. Index is going to pluck the notes of the third string, always. Middle is going to pluck the notes of the second string or the B string, always. Ring finger is going to pluck the notes of the E string or that top string, always. And then our thumb is going to pluck the lowest note of the chord. So it will be on strings 4, 5, or 6. It'll just depend, depending on the chord. With F, if you use the 6 string form, like all 6 strings, we're going to pluck that 6 string. If you're just using the 4, then you're going to pluck the 4 string. Either is fine. C7, you're going to pluck that 5th string for that one. B flat, it's the 5th string for that one. D minor, open 4 string. A, open 4 string. Sort of a way that can help with finger picking is that, and knowing which one to pluck the thumb on. We got the low six string is an E, so all types of E chord are gonna, chords are you going to use that one. E, E7, E minor, doesn't matter. Then we got the fifth string that's an A, all types of A chords are going to use that one, A, A minor, A7. Then the open fourth string is a D, all types of uh, D chords are going to use that one, D, D minor, D7, and so on. For the rest of them, it's the lowest place we have a finger, so that's why F, it's either the 4th string or the 6th string, depending on which version. B flat, it's going to be that 4th, uh, that 5th string there, because that's the lowest one uh, that we have a finger on. And then C, 5th string as well, because it's the lowest one we've got a finger on. Okay, we'll go ahead and learn this pattern now. We can just do it on E minor, because with that we don't have to worry about having a finger on, but you just use that low 6th string. So we're going to go thumb, index, middle, index, ring, index, middle, index. Everything alternates with the index finger. So we got P, I, M, I, A, I, M, I, thumb, index, middle, index, ring, index, middle, index. If you need more help with this pattern, in the quick answer videos, there's one that goes over patterns in 4-4 four, four times so you can get more help that but I'm going to speed it up. You may need to pause the video and get so you can play that. P-I-M-I-A-I-M-I. -I -I -I. We'll insert this in with the chords. Now 
Now when we have two chords per bar, we just use the first half twice. P, I, M, I, P, I, M, I. Sometimes in those cases, I like to add the ring finger with the middle. Make it P, I, M, A, I, P, I, M, A, I. So on that last line, A, D minor, F, C, C7, and F. So I just included my ring finger there with that one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this. You can play right along with me. I, one and two and three and I heard the bells on Christmas Day Their old familiar carols play And wild and sweet the words repeat A peace on earth, good will to men Okay and that wraps us up with that one. I hope you're having a great time this Christmas season. I have a album out, Silent Night, so Kristen R. Bromley's Silent Night, all solo guitar, playing Christmas music. I love hearing that sort of thing and playing that sort of thing, as well as singing and playing Christmas songs this time of year. It's available to stream digitally and download and on CD form. So if you like that sort of thing, you may want to check it out. I hope you have a great Christmas. Take care and we'll see you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.